I think the TV needs to be on. Uh, or else, it's, you know, so that we can see this iPad thingy. Or the whole thing will crash. Is what I'm understanding. Is what I'm getting from this. Cause let me try to change. You see, because I tried to change the um, signal with the remote on the television, go to HDMI one so I could see chat. But I think oh, over time, uh, Elgato, this thing, which is being displayed over the television in, through Elgato, loses the HDMI signal since it's not being output to the actual TV screen here. Because I just changed the HDMI to HDMI 1 instead of 2. It's on 2. You guys chat and uh, donations and subs are on 1. So I think... This whole system will turn off here in a second. And I think that's the problem. Got to Got to troubleshoot everybody's programs for them. Alright. Well, the latest update on the Cyberpunk uh, for the PS4, it's gotten better with that patch. Got a little better. But I think that the best way to play it is going to be on PC. That's the best way to play it. Transform. Does that look a little better? Did I make it better? I fucking did it, dude. 
Did I make it better? Is it easy? Can you read it easier now? Oh, man. I fucking love troubleshooting and fixing something. You know, this is... It's pretty cool when you figure out things. But it's like, man, I'm a troubleshooting, fixing person for so many fucking programs and I don't even know if I ever use again. Okay. Well, we uh, we did it. We I did it. <laughs> we helped too. Did how? <laughs> you telling me that it looked all right? Yeah, you're right. You right. Yeah, I, yeah, I. yeah, I. probably you should have used some terminators. Ugh. This is a lot of cards that I didn't use here. get this to flip around um, the app for games workshop doesn't rotate or do its thing you know some some apps on the iPhone store whether you put it in landscape or vertical it will adjust this one doesn't adjust so it's kind of fucking annoying I gotta do it like this, you know? Okay, how did the game go? I got my ass kicked, and this is the post-ass kicked stream. Uh, so I could see what, what exactly went wrong. I deleted a bunch of lists, but I don't think this is actually the list. No, this is the 1,000-point list. And this is the 1,500-point list. But it doesn't make sense. When you click the 1,500-point list, it says I've only used 1,000 points. 1,010 points. And I certainly wasn't playing with 1,010. Was I? No. No. Wait, maybe? No, because I had some Terminator. So, screw it. Delete it all. Delete it. Delete everything. Oh, you know what it is? Because that was on my cell phone. Right. It doesn't carry over. So, you, you can make this app. And you can build the list. And then if you switch to your iPad, then it's it's not. And, and I don't have something that I can plug in for. So that you can see. Do I? No. No, I don't have. I don't have it either. There's no server allocation of the data, right? And I, 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 I can't really mirror my phone. It's not at the moment. So I would literally just have to recreate everything on the iPad and then recreate everything on the thing. So anyway, let me open a document here to give Games Workshop feedback. App feedback. Okay, so feedback. 
number one. Right now, custom chapters aren't a thing. You need to make them a thing, but they're already working on that. But that's so important that I'm going to put that on here. Um, God damn this damn thing. Uh, the other thing is um, a objective, a mission, primary objective, and secondary objective tracker. Built into app to help uh, record keeping during game. Okay. Okay, and then um, and then uh, no server side allocation. Building an army while logged in on the iPad does not show or transfer over to the to my cell phone on Android okay I don't think a lot of you else a lot of you other guys are using the app so and you know what sucks I got 13% battery fuck I could, I get, if I could get a uh, extension cable, then I could plug it in. Cause this, luckily, this um, this app has uh, the ability. I need, I need to buy more extension cables for this house. Power extension cables. I have like thirty-five million. But apparently, I need more. More, more. I'm gonna go downstairs and see if I've got one. You guys are the best uh, community ever. We're just hanging out. Like you, you just you just sit there and you watch all of my screw ups, all of my troubleshooting. It's really cool, cause it's like. Why the hell would I want to watch Joe, uh, you know, screw up? Oh, my God. <gasps> we found a bunch of candy. I forgot about all this candy. Oh, yeah. You know what that is. Tell me what sound that is, huh? Or actually, you probably don't know what sound that is. I wonder if a few of you got it right. I'm going to go back to my room. I'm going to get... The charger for the iPad. Alrighty. I got the charger. <sighs> but I will need an extension cable. We'll purchase an extension cable on Amazon. Are approaching seeing these. In the meantime, I'm gonna have to unplug some stuff from in this room over here and use <laughs> this extension cable. <laughs> oh my brother. Okay, I'm coming with the candy. What kind of candy do you think it is? Huh? Peekaboo. What kind of candy? Ready?
Yup. <laughs> Very good. Very good. That was probably too easy. That was probably too easy. <clears throat> Where are my... Oh, fuck. Oh, don't tell me. I lost those, too. I'll just use this, this one for right now. Plug this in, plug this extension cable into this extension cable, which then, ow, plugs into this extension cable, and guess what? A slight touch, and this thing goes ballistic, and this extension cable is not even long enough. Not today. Not today. Today. I'm gonna make shit work. Even if I gotta tape it down to the table. Okay, and so supposedly I think I can be able to then plug this in to this open port and still get a charge. So we're at 12% battery. Ah, ha, ha, hey, big brain, I die. <laughs> we're charging. Now we can go as long as we want. Nice. Okay. So, what I was going to do here is I was going to make armies. Um, by visually seeing what I have in front of me. You enjoyed the battle with Matt? Did you guys enjoy that? How, how you guys, who, who here watched the battle? Need to count by hands. Who, who here watched the Matt, the battle? We cut the battle off in turn three. Okay, so uh, at least five or six of you. Uh, give me some feedback on it. What do you think? Number one, I think the audio was bad. It wasn't as good as this audio. For me, I could barely hear myself. And I think it was because I didn't have this mic set up right. I think this audio is better. In fact, let me figure that out right now. And you just reminded me to purchase an extension cable. So black extend. One thing at a time here. Okay, hold on. One thing at a time. <laughs> Let me look at your feedback. Uh, so repeat what you just said. You need more anti-tank on your army. Yeah, but I meant more like the, the setup. Camera management was bad in the beginning. Yeah, there was a little camera audios. Audio was kind of bad. Needs more tanks for next time. Yeah, audio is glitching. Uh, Okay-ish. OJ was funny with the commentary. I like that. Uh, and then you're talking about anti-tank support, yeah. Um, it's, it's so, okay, what about, ooh, what about visuals? Uh, were you able to see the individual pips on the dice when we were rolling them? Uh, we were rolling on camera as much as possible. I was trying to pick angles from which you can see the shooting unit and the shot at unit. Lighting was good. Lighting was pretty good. Detail on the dice. It looked good. Cameras kind of lose signal when you move them around. I'm noticing that. It, it's just it's this one. But then that one was losing signal. One of the others. And it's just so fiddly. I'm not sure why. 
I don't think HDMI cables like to really go beyond 15 feet, 10 feet, really. It could be that, or it could be the Magwell HDMI card itself in my computer. It could also be that this computer is an older computer, and maybe I need to upgrade the camera. Camera placement was good. I do feel like one camera was used the majority of the time. We never really got to see the entire board. Yeah, that, that is also true. Um, it's difficult because it needs to be live produced. And what I mean by that, it needs to, it needs to be live produced with this. There needs to be one person who's controlling the camera. And OJ, you know, he'll move it, but he's not trained in it. And he doesn't know, you know, he's not constantly on it because he's trying to talk to you guys at the same time to go ahead and switch these, you know, back and forth live. I don't have the overhead camera on right now. But do you like the windows in the bottom corners? Because I noticed when I started rolling really bad and we had it just on the camera itself, you couldn't see my reaction to the roll. And at least with the windows in the corners, you could see my reaction. And you could see me raging. Okay, your reactions add so much. So the windows need to be on there. So that's good. So I think what the what the most the camera the camera angles will be the these two most of the time the overhead cam which is on right off right now fuck it i'll just turn it on <coughs> okay so so the two cameras that will be used the most of the time is see i just tried to keep it clean and you can see I'm still using the clean method for the overhead camera. God damn it, this mic keeps falling off one ear. It's one of my ears just misshapen. <laughs> Let me, um, so for the top view, a clean method is better. Um, I, I think. I mean, well, why? I don't know. I think you just like them both. See? So this is what it would look like. Matt making little moves to destroy AJ Army. Don't even a little moves. Felt a tiny bit weird having only OJ's shoulder in the shot half the time while listening to him comment. Well, see, I kept pulling Joe's. That's completely Joe's fault. I kept pulling him on the screen, and Joe would just slowly fall back off screen. Maybe he just didn't want to be on camera. I don't know. I mean, I did the best that I could there. The, the, the thing is, Joe's not officially supposed to run producer he's not supposed to be a producer and then also in order to get cp command uh, command points victory points all live on the screen that's going to be a, a custom solution and you have to have an off-screen producer switching cameras and talking off screen and number one i don't know if we have the manpower to do that to just have one person do nothing not do nothing, but support us for three hours, four hours. But number two, I would need to create custom scripts that, that you know, you could do that easily. And that's that might be a little too much for us. Um, <clears throat> I can add those things later in post is, is what I'm thinking. Um, or I could pay tabletop tactics because that's what they have. They have a system like that, but I... But when I was talking with them, they made it all custom. I didn't ask, hey, can I have your custom system? But maybe I can pay them. But, um...
But it's, is it really that important? Nah, see, I don't think so. All right, so we got that. We got this. That looks good. Um, what I can do is I can change these camera angles. Instead of, you know, uh, these being themed for the table time, I think I'm going to theme them gothic. So the, the borders kind of look gothic already, but I think I can make them look a tiny bit more gothic. Um, and, then, and then instead of it saying table time up top, because table time is when we're streaming board games. It should say battle reports with the battle report logo. Or it should say nothing right there because, you know, that's you're just taking up real estate up at the top right there. We don't really need that. You can put ta you could put the battle report, report right here, you know, um, and then you can have special graphics like this kind of stuff. But just themed themed for battle reports. So I'll look into that. I'll get started on that. Hey, it's Sunday, man. It's my day off, all right? I'm fucking playing cyberpunk right now. All right. So, the thing I also think about the overhead camera, but actually the overhead camera, you guys make a good point. I think the overhead camera, you cannot have these windows because the whole thing is to see everything, right? Now, the thing that bothers me the most about the overhead camera is this pole. As soon as I start to, you know, uh, move this camera around, then you're going to have shit in the way. And there's really nothing I can do about it. I just have to remember, okay, if I'm going to go for an overhead shot, go ahead and pull the camera out of the way. But then I got to grab the camera again. Right? So there's the overhead shot. But then I'm... But, you know, that's depending on where this camera is located. So I like... I like the fact that... If I move that, it completely gets out of the shot. But by moving it right there... It's kind of in Matt's way, or whoever's on the other side of the table. They just have to be careful, bonk, not to hit themselves. the The problem is, is that this is the battle report show. The problem is that the battle report show, it's two shows in one. There's a live portion of it, what, what, we're, what we did today, and then there's offline, where, like, it's produced. And those are two different show ideas, and they're cl clashing. And, and the trick is to figure out, well, can you, what are you going to do? Are you going to do a live show, or are you going to do a produce show? Can you do a live show and produce an edited version of it? Yes, but then you have to cut out all the talking with chat. You have to cut out, you know, uh, you have to make sure that when you're doing the camera angles that you don't have, you know, this over uh, the close up cam in the way. Um, you know, it's difficult. And I think that's I think that's the way we're going to do it. That's, you know, we'll do the live and then we'll do this. Okay, anyway, I'm going to get back to what I was starting the stream about, and I'll uh, sort of, uh, yes, the trash can is constantly adding thoughts there. I should have threw that thing a, long, a, a way a long time ago. <laughs> Not big enough. Okay. Do 
So, we'll figure out Blood Angels another time. Let's start with my smallest armies. We are going to take a look at our Harlequins. We're going to build a Harlequin list. An official Harlequin list. Let's see how many Harlequins we actually have. What Harlequin models we actually have. Or are they Eldar models, etc., etc.? Okay. So I got all these. Now, technically, I mean, you can create allies, right? And you can put some Eldar in a Harlequin. But if you're trying to build. Nothing but Harlequin. Where does this fucking go? Oh shit, do they have a tail gun? Because I must have broke the other one, and then I probably threw that other tail gun in the trash. Fuck. No, they don't... They don't both have tail guns, because that is just fine. But then you go over here, and that is def there's definitely a piece snapped off. So then you would put... I mean, I'm not even sure how that's supposed to just go there. That's not very stable. But, okay. Is this one for children or something? Because this keeps falling off my freaking head. So one thing, another thing about the app, you can't rename your rosters as far as I can tell. Which is inf infuriating. You need, this app desperately needs an app update. For a paid app, it needs to be a little bit better. Uh, also, you need to be, it, it would be nice to be able to give each of these a image. So let's add this to the feedback, right? So can't rename armies. Allow us to add custom pictures to army picture placeholder. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to play orcs. I'm going to play... Um, I'm playing everything. I do have favorites, though. Well, this was a 500 thing. Uh, so we fucked that up already.
1000. Eldari. Just call him Eldar. Please. Yeah, I saw Sony is uh, issuing refunds uh, for Cyberpunk. That's fine. Because some players probably got so frustrated and, and you know, they don't want to deal with it. I'm willing to wait, you know, and, and make sure that some of the patches are going to fix it. Because I do believe Cedar Project Red will fix it. So I wouldn't refund it myself because there's a good game there. I mean, I've been having fun with it. Harlequins. Okay. Now, um, the first, let, let's, uh, so Harlequins is an army that was just, re that, that is relatively new to 40k. So it looks like at least for those, they have the images. Um, I'm wondering when they're going to go in and update all the images for the missing thing. So apparently there's a shadow seer and a troop master. These are your two HQ choices. I'm hoping that I have um, at least a Shadow Seer. So I'm going to click on that. We're going to click on this data thing in the top to give me a bigger picture. And we'll see if I've got one of these. That, I believe, is the Troop Master. And this is the... Shadow Seer, we found him. Okay, so I have both. That's good. So I've got a Shadow Seer. So we'll add him and I've got a Troop Master. Now, troops. A troop is 5 to 12 models. Player. Here. I guess that's a troop or a player that maybe that's a player that actually this guy actually looks kind of special. Player, player, they seem to have shrook and pistols. Wait, I've got. I've got two shadow shadow seers. Okay, I think I've got one troop. So troops are 5 to 12. Troop master, shadow seer, troop, yeah. Solitaire. 
a single model armed with Harlequin's caress. Oh shit, that's a solitaire. Oh shit, I got two solitaires. <laughs> <laughs> and I got five, five, five troops. Or five. This unit contains five players. So those are players. Weird. Um... Right. Okay. So Harlequin Patrol Detachment. Um This is more than likely a battalion, not a patrol. Cause a battalion's gonna give me space for three. But then you're required to have three troop choices. And I don't have three troop choices. So we already know that our shit is jacked. Let's just... Stick with the patrol. See how far we can get. Elite slots. Amble. More worm infestation. Death Jester. Yes, I have one of those. I have a death jester. And I have two solitaires. So more than I can even put. Okay, nope. Um... Then we have to go with a detachment. Or a battalion, rather. And then we'll worry about the troops later. So, with a battalion detachment, I go in. I have two Shadow Seers. And one troop master. And then I have one death jester. And two solitaires. The app doesn't seem to update it unless you exit and, and go back in. So death jester and solitaire. And one more solitaire. Wow. Is this a 2,000 point army? Are you kidding me? Another thing that this doesn't seem to be able to do is allow me to... Because we're, we, we're only 266 points uh, away. And we've got more things to add. Oh shit, I got another death jester. I got two, I got two death jesters.
What? Okay. I didn't pick that up. Two Shadow Seers. Two, one Troop Master. Two Death Jesters. Two Solitaires. Five Soldiers. And this fool. I have no idea who this fool is. Let's try to find who this... Who is who are you? Maybe a fast attack? No, those are sky weavers. Maybe heavy weapons? Void? No. Dying? No. This is like a... Oh, it's another... Oh, he just painted it much differently. I think it's another Shadow Seer. It's a metal Shadow Seer versus a plastic Shadow Seer, I think. Okay, so I have three Shadow Seers. <laughs> well, then he's got one. He's got. He's got too many HQ choices in this fucking list. That doesn't make any sense. Whatever. I guess he's just adding extra models. I think maybe maybe he he kicked this guy. So I've got one extra of that. Okay, 151 points. Now let's go fast attack. Well, I've got two to six of these models. And I've got four four of them so four is a good number for these i think they're called sky weavers mm -hmm. and then he's got void weaver And then he's got, well, that's it. Where are the transport? Okay, um, <clears throat> Death Seeker, Solitaire, Sky Weavers, Void Weaver, Star Weaver. I'm thinking one of these is a star weaver. What are y'all playing? Baldur's Gate? Baldur's Gate 3? Sweet. Not everybody would be playing uh, Cyberpunk right now. I'm taking a bit of a break. Baldur's Gate 3 is still in, uh, in early access, right? So... Yeah, one one star weaver. It's a star weaver.
When will I release my Cyberpunk my review? Well, my Cyberpunk review will release when I finish the game, write the script, get all the costumes, film the review, download all of the gameplay footage, edit the gameplay footage, add the special effects, do the parodies, finish the game, and um, and then put out the video. That's when. So tomorrow, yes, uh, tomorrow. It'll be done tomorrow. Uh, I'll probably get to you one. He said three death jesters, but he actually has Magan Ra as one of them. Magan Ra is an LR. The guy who painted these, he's like, these are three death jesters. Like, no, they're not. This guy right here is Magan Ra. I'm the Eldar. But he's a good stand-in. I mean, he looks very, very similar to the other Death Jesters. So, I'll give it to him. I'll give it to him. We just need more Harlequin troops. And then, and then we can field a Harlequin army. But right now, my Harlequin army is illegal. And that is helpful to know. <clears throat> Magnetized and propane. Mm -hmm. Puzzle pieces. Interesting. Interesting. Wish you guys can see what I'm seeing right now. Well, actually, I guess you can if we do it on the iPad. Right? Let me let me see. So what happens if I show this? Ah, it's in a different format. A different resolution. These har this Harlequin troops, this guy put like puzzle pieces. But the image won't load fully, so I can't tell if the Harlequin models themselves are painted all right.
Harlequin's painted. Let's see if this pulls anything up. A mini series of reviewing games he's missed in the past. Yeah, that would be fun. I mean, I'd have to, I have to actually review those, and I play every game from start to finish, and I barely have time, uh, you know, for the games that come out already, you know. So I'm not really sure how it would work logistically like that. I wonder. Man, my Wi-Fi on the iPad is so bad. Damn it. Well, this isn't working as well as I had hoped. Ladies and gentlemen. <sighs> Sorry, you get me, I'll get you back. All right, well. What you gonna do? I don't know. What I have learned is that I need three troops of any army to form the backbone of a battalion. And with that small information, then I can sort of make my armies from there. Yeah. But my... um Man... I wonder what would have happened if I brought my land raider. I have a blood angels land raider. And if I brought my 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 land raider against that Matt's freaking battle uh, sisters of battle squad that had those crazy ass multi melters that you, you were doing that she's like doing like D6 damage like it would probably pop this land raider in an instant making my land raider an overpriced piece of shit and it sucks because it's like well why would i ever bring this land raider sisters have melted for days so like what could happen is i could get the if if i go first I can get the, these last guns and these last these last guns to like pop his tanks, but he's still gonna have that sister squad, and that sister squad is gonna be able to obliterate this thing pretty easily. I think. Are you done playing cyberpunk? Are you? Um, I'm not done playing cyberpunk. I'm just taking a little break, and um. I wanted to play some Warhammer with some friends on Sunday. So that's what I was doing. Just decompressing a little bit with some Warhammer. And uh, it's also a good thing because Cyberpunk has some problems. And they're a little frustrating. And I'm hoping that they can put out a patch pretty soon here that way uh pew, 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 pew. no you don't need to put cyberpunk on the blocked words list i can work through it i can handle my emotions i hope they patch it soon yes me too me too me too me too you know what let's look at let's look at these sisters together because that this i want to bring i would like to bring this tank but he he made this crazy ass sisters list i'm just gonna name it unnamed army i'm gonna do incursion i'm gonna do imperium i'm gonna go into this and i'm gonna look at a battalion detachment. We're going to make it illegal. Sisters Sor Sororitas. Sorori Sor Sororitas. I hate that. It just doesn't sound right. Sororitas. It's like a like a Mexican, like angry Joe, like other Joe's Mexican Marines. Sisters of Battle, all right? 
All right. And then the order he did, he did Order of Our Martyred Lady, this first one. And then it's like, it's not the troop squad. It is the, it had to have been some elites. It was like Repentas or something. No, that's Repenta. It's got to be heavy. Retributor squad, I think. This app does not update well enough. Okay. So, he had these... These... And then he put a multi melta on each. And he paid for it, legit. It's 20 points of every single multi melta. But I mean, that is the best 20 points that you can spend in the whole game. Now that unit can't move. So he had four multi melters and then he even had and uh, the these cherubs. I don't know why they cost zero points right here, but those cherubs apparently allow them to re-roll all those. <laughs> Man. 24 inches, heavy 2, strength 8, which means you're you're pretty much rolling 2s um, to wound, <laughs> or 3s to wound, and then armor piercing 4, and then the damage it does is like up to 6 a shot. That's crazy. But he was saying, look, Marines have this too. Well, let's go look at the Marines. Let's look at the Marines that... That I'm building. Because I'm, I'm creating an angry legion. I swear to God, if my angry army space Marines get here and I lose like I lost... Like that today, I'll jump out the window. But by the time my actual... Space Marine chapter shows up, I will know how to play. And I'll have a little bit of uh, battles under my belt. So I won't be making those kinds of mistakes. What are they called? Is it Hell Blasters? It's not Hell Blasters. Eradicators. That's what it is. And this is Eradicators are so good, they are literally in everybody's Space Marine lists. You might as well fucking buy six of them and watch your opponent cry. I mean, because that's what... That's what um, Matt did. So here's six, right? And they have melter rifles. So it turns out that their melter rifles aren't quite as good no, uh, as the sisters because they're assault one. The sisters are heavy too. So with the sisters, you're getting two shots. But at least with... The Space Marine version, you can still move and shoot it because it's an assault. The sisters have to stay put. Yeah. But still, you, you've got six Eradicators versus the sisters only four. Um... Six eradicators. And then I think there's like a th a stratagem or something to make, make them fire twice. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, 
shit, that would be crazy if there was. Heavy melter rifle is a heavy melter rifle. So they could take the heavy version, but that's only going to give them one shot. But look at that damage. D6 plus 4 if they're within half range. And then I can't tell what damage that is right there. Heavy melter or melter? I think you would want to go heavy melter. Wait a minute. Yeah, D6 plus 2 versus D6. But it's heavy 1. So sisters have, I think, I think the sisters version is a little better. Or at least there's more shots from the sisters version. Cool. So, yeah, it's just a powerful ass fucking squad. Mine cost 245 here. I think he was saying his was at least, you know, like um, <clears throat> 200 something. And, and so that is... 245 points right now watch what happens if i were to say try to add um a heavy support land raider well land raider's 285 points a land raider is way more exp is, is way more expensive than Six eradicators. And the land raider is just going to have the twin las cannons. So a twin las cannon is going to do. Really, you're only getting one, one more strength for strength nine, which is overkill. You're getting less armor pierce value. And you're getting. About the same damage, maybe a little less. But you can move and shoot it, but you're only getting four shots. Because <laughs> twin on one side, twin on the other. Uh, it's, it's almost as if uh, eradicators have made land raiders obsolete. And that sucks because I like vehicles in 40k. I think point for point, you have to take the Eradicators over the Land Raiders. Bummer. I mean, you know, narrative games, I guess you could do these, these Land Raiders and tanks and things. But if you're going there to smash your opponent that day and you just want to win and you want to maximize every point, then you just got to go with that. Yeah, Land Raider's not really worth it. Plus, see, that Land Raider can't hide behind things nearly as well as the troops. Uh, it's a smaller table. It's expensive. Eradicator is the way to go. And it sucks. I hate that. When I think of 40K, I think of troops and vehicles. And I think 9th edition fails vehicles. But I think ninth edition overall is better than 8th, 7th, and all these other editions. I just wish that vehicles weren't irrelevant or weren't, you know, like that. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead. Um, am I going to play and review Cyberpunk? I will. Yeah. Um, I'm playing and reviewing Cyberpunk right now. So... I guess what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to I'm gonna go to sleep, and then we will um, review more Cyberpunk tomorrow. I'm trying to debate whether we should play on stream uh, or just play off stream because it's kind of a frustrating experience on stream with things breaking and then and then me try and then the performance issues I have to like try to stream it. Um, I really like playing though. I think we're going to try streaming it one more time. I think tomorrow we're going to try streaming it. And then from that point forward, just play offline 
finish the game as quick as I can and go from there. That's what I'm feeling. Or I may just play off stream uh, from here on out. Record the footage, obviously. You'll see the footage. We'll put together, you know, put it in the review. I keep hitting the microphone. Um, but we'll put it in the review and stuff. But yeah, um, Cyberpunk, I'm having a lot of fun with it. Um, I just wish CD Projekt, I just, I want to know the reason. I wish Jason Schreier would do another kind of expose kind of thing and kind of tell us what happened. Like, did Xbox force, did Microsoft, their partnership with Microsoft force them to release it before they wanted to? Uh, did the suits and CD Projekt Red was like, no, we got to get it out in this cycle before Christmas. Just do it. Because honestly, I would have, I would have delayed it one more time. And I think just pull, you know, just pull your panties up and, and just wait another three months could have been good for ironing out all these bugs and sort of polishing it up. And so if this thing came out like in March of 2021, then I think that, you know, the game would be getting nines and above and, and the stock prices would have gone up uh, instead of it coming out real buggy and then everybody making fun of it. And then there's countless videos out there that you can find of like the funniest shit ever. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Game sales during COVID has been solid. Uh, you know, that they probably wanted to put it out before Christmas, a little Christmas push. Uh, but again, that goes against what I'm all about. I, I'm all about get it right the first time, put out a finished product the first time, uh, no excuses kind of thing. And CD Projekt Red knows that. And I think they must have took a calculated risk. They said, you know what, we'll probably make a little more money and we can weather the storm People are going to be, some people are going to be mad. We're going to lose a little faith, but we'll earn that faith back by working on the game. And, but here's the thing. I'm sure like they're working right now, like over Christmas to try to get all the packages done. And they're probably feeling even more rushed now that it's already out rather than delaying it another time. And then like, you know, feeling a little bit. A little bit, uh, you know, like they have more time to fix it. So, I don't know. What do y'all think? Well, some of you are not running into any bugs at all. It's kind of hard to believe with how many bugs I've run into. I mean, I'm sure it happens. I mean, you could play this game a thousand different ways. So, you know. No, I haven't finished it yet. Cyberpunk shows how much of a masterpiece Red Dead Redemption 2 was and, and how good that was. But yeah, but th it's a little unfair to compare because I think Red Dead Redemption 2 probably has like four times the budget, three times the budget at least, and like more employees, I think. So, it's it's kind of it's a little unfair, but I'm not saying that it should have came out the state it came out in on PlayStation Four and and Xbox One because that was it's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. Went over to a friend Jacob's house and you sh you should have seen it running on his. I wish I could have took footage on his. Like it was like literally like seven frames per second and nothing was loading and he could fire a bullet and you can like watch the bullet come out of the gun <laughs> it was it was pretty bad yeah the b-wings i'd like to the b-wings and stuff that already came out december 10th but i i don't have time we were playing cyberpunk and I'm doing this just as a break from Cyberpunk. I played Warhammer 40K. So rest my eyes and take a little break from, from Cyberpunk. 
So we don't have time to go into Star Wars Squadrons. As soon as we get done with uh, Cyberpunk, though, we'll jump back into to Squadrons. Or I'll, Actually, it's probably going to be time for me to do the year-end lists, you know? Um, like, what were the best games of the year? I've already started on my iPad. I've got, a, you know, a, f a little bit of those videos written, like the worst games of the year and the best games of the year. And what was disappointing. I'm... I'm not sure if I'll do the disappointing list or or maybe there's enough to do a disappointing and a worst. We'll have to see. We shall have to see. What is your best game of the year, chat? What do y'all What do y'all think? There's these nerds gummy clusters that I saw at the store. I don't know. So I'm going to try these. While I look at your responses. Doom, Among Us, Ghost, Hades, Ghost, Call of Duty. Get out of here, Call of Duty. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Are you being serious? I apologize. I disagree. <laughs> uh, Final Fantasy Seven. Hey, these are good. Kind of weird. <coughs> Oops. I think I. S I don't think these are gonna last long, because I swallowed it before I was ri before I chewed it too much. And because there's gummy under all these nerds, it gets stuck in your throat. I can see little kids choking. And the parents being like, these are terrible. Get rid of them. No, you just got to chew them a little more. It does kind of look like an, ever an everlasting god chopper. Look at it. Pretty good. You've been playing Total War Warhammer a lot. I'm going to get back into that. Yeah, I'm looking forward to, what is it, Dark Tide, where you're the Imperial Guard, first-person shooter. Shit. Adam Jensen, what do you like better? Deus Ex or Cyberpunk? Looks like unicorn poop. Yeah. It does look like unicorn poop. What are we doing? I don't know. I'm just kind of just staring at y'all right now. I'm going to go to bed here in like two minutes and get geared up for more cyberpunk tomorrow. We're going to film the news tomorrow. We're going to film cyber, um, maybe stream some cyberpunk. So we'll figure it out. All right, before I go, 
what would you guys who have played Cyberpunk rate it out of 10? On my scale, if you were Angry Joe and you were rating it out of 10 from what you've played so far, I don't know if any of you have beaten the game yet, but what would you give it? Mm. Yeah. You do have to rate it on uh, you know, the release date, right? We know we know it'll eventually get better. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm thinking I'm thinking that range too. I'm not a ten out of ten, my friend. No. I'm sorry, I don't care how much you like the game. When it comes out like that, at least I mean, I guess if you're being legit and you didn't run into a single issue, maybe, but I don't think you can do a 10 out of 10. <clears throat> all right, guys. Thank you all so much for dropping by. We'll, we'll uh, hang out and see you guys on Monday. Um, yeah. That what it glitched, I froze. Oh, <laughs> okay, I didn't even know that. I don't know. I think this old board game computer PC is a little less strong than I thought it was. I might need to upgrade that to get this to 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 not have any more issues with this bullshit over here. We got some strong ass computers for video games because that's super important. That's most important. We might need to upgrade that one eventually. We are pushing like what four 1080p signals to it, so I understand. I understand. Okay, that's it. These aren't 1080p yet. I was asking Godfoot if he's got another deal because these close-up cams are better. I want to upgrade this one, and I want to upgrade that one, and then we'll be good. Okay, y'all have a good night, and we'll get back to work on Monday and uh, do this thing. Good night. Think, live, life. Thank you. Um... Sparkamus, thank you. That was eight minutes ago. I missed you. I missed y'all too. But um, I can't, can't hear you. But I got to turn the TV audio on so that I can hear that. But okay. All right. Good night.